Thanks again for checking in as we take a look at your extreme weather outlook. We've got a potent spring storm making its way through the central U.S. now. Yesterday, we had large hail, damaging winds, even a few tornadoes. That severe threat does continue today and tomorrow. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has a couple of enhanced risk areas uh, for the lower Mississippi Valley today and then the southeast for tomorrow. Uh, along with that comes the chance of heavy rain and flooding. So here's our storm system. You can see it churning through the southern U.S and these big bright blue tops indicate the convective nature to the thunderstorms. Again, a lot of these thunderstorms uh, pumping out some severe weather and again, some very heavy rainfall. And here's the forecast through the rest of our Thursday. Showers and storms continue to push east. As we add that daytime heating, thunderstorm activity will become a little bit more widespread and then continues through the overnight hours and into Friday in the southeast. We're not quite out of the woods yet. Again, from the mid-Atlantic states down into Florida, we have that enhanced threat on the northern side of this. We're looking at some pretty decent rainfall, maybe even a little bit of snow, but behind that, the central U.S. really looking to quiet down as we plan some traveling for this Easter weekend. There's today's severe threat. It's an enhanced risk. The lower Mississippi Valley does include New Orleans over to uh, Mississippi and Alabama, even the Florida Panhandle. And then by Friday, the threat from the Outer Banks down into northern Florida. Again, large hail damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, and then maybe even some ice headed strong storms up near D.C. and New York tomorrow. Very heavy rainfall, flood concerns in the lower Mississippi Valley, also to the northeast, could have some one to two plus inch liquid tallies in these particular locations. Maybe some ice headed three inch amounts, even some decent rain in the northeast, one to two plus inch liquid tallies. We're still pretty warm out ahead of this, but look at the southwest today. Phoenix, you're up to 92, well above average. And then how about this as we get into the end of the month, looking at very warm conditions.